Hello everybody, it's JDO, and I am back with another Borderlands 2 video. Before we hop into this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, make sure you are following me on Instagram, I post really awesome memes and um, content, just things like that, I repost a lot of things, and I keep you up to date with my channel, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you're following me on Instagram, and without further ado, let's hop into the video. I have figured it out guys, I have mastered how to level 1 through 72 in the fastest way humanly possible in this game. There is no faster way to get a character to level 72 than this way I'm about to show you. Now, you need these couple of things exactly the way that I tell you, or else this glitch will not work. You need a level 72 gun zerker with these um, perks maxed out right here. You're going to need Yippee Kaye, where killing an enemy while gun zerking increases the amount of time you can gun zerk. And you're going to need keep firing. While gun zerking, the longer you hold down the trigger, the faster your guns fire. You're also going to need two infinity pistols. You can either duplicate these or farm for them twice. Yes, there is a way to duplicate weapons in Borderlands 2. I have a tutorial on how to do that on my channel. There are also plenty of others on YouTube, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to be teaching you how to do it. Um, but just know you need two infinity pistols. You also need this mission right here. Rock, paper, scissor, or rock, paper, genocide, fire weapons. Now, if you guys don't remember these series of missions, when you very first enter Sanctuary and you very first meet Marcus, he has a series of missions where he gives you elemental weapons and you're supposed to kill a bandit with that elemental weapon and it explains how that elemental effect works. If you've completed those missions, you're gonna have to reset your playthrough. You're gonna have to restart, which sucks, I know, but um, you're gonna ha that's just the way it is. If you don't have that mission, if you're not, if you, don't, if you don't have the ability to have this bandit keep respawning, then this tutorial will not work for you. So, with that being said, those are the only things that you need. Here is how the glitch works. You're going to take your Gunzerker out of Marcus's shop. You're going to turn right into this alleyway right here. You're going to position yourself about right here in this corner. You're going to make sure you have no grenade equipped, and you're going to grenade jump. For those of you that aren't familiar with that, it's pretty much using the grenade to boost yourself higher than you would normally be able to jump. So you're going to throw it down. As soon as it bounces, you're going to jump, and it blasts you through this little glitched portion on the roof. As you can see, we're in a little glitched area of Sanctuary. And now what you're going to do is you're going to run and jump and aim for that corner right there and just keep running as soon as you hit it. So you're just going to jump, you're going to hit the corner, and then you're going to hit the wall right here. Now you're going to hug the wall as tightly as you possibly can. Um, you're going to go in between the vending machine right here and the wall. It's a glitched area. It's super glitchy. If you aren't hugging the wall, you will fall off the edge. It really sucks. But just keep hugging the wall. And this part right here is the hardest part at the end of the wall right here. You just inch yourself. Um, you just inch yourself forward until you can walk forward. Please don't go super far. If you fall right here, you will fall off the edge of the map. Um, just inch yourself until you can walk forward, just like that. And this is where the leveling up. This is where it all happens. You're gonna jump right on top of this little sign thing or whatever right here. You're gonna jump on the bandit's head. Whoops. You're gonna. You're gonna jump on the bandit's head, and then you're gonna land right on top of the sign right here. And this is the sweet spot. This is where you want to be. Now what you're going to do is go into the pause menu and add another controller or add another player. It works over Xbox Live. Just add whatever player you want to be leveling up. Um, for the tutorial's sake, I'm just going to add a guest. I'm going to start at level 0. I'm just going to add some random Axton, whatever it, the base character it starts me out with. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You're going to just add whatever character you want to be leveling up. As you can see on the bottom screen, I'm a level 1, just barely started. Now what you're going to do with your Gunzerker, which is the top screen, um, which is the one that's the level 72, is you're going to dual wield your infinity pistols, and you're going to keep killing this bandit. You're going to hit that sweet spot for when it respawns. Every single time it respawns, you're just killing it over and over. And with those perks that I told you about, you're going to be firing as fast as the infinity pistols can possibly fire, and you're never going to run out of Gunzerk. It is a brutal combination that allows you to just kill this bandit over and over and over again. And as you can see, I'm already level 7 on the bottom screen um now obviously it'll take a lot more xp and a lot more time to level up the higher levels that you get and that's where the tutorial takes some time so what i recommend you do is just turn off the vibration on your controller so it doesn't vibrate everywhere and then tape your triggers down um or hold your triggers down some sort of way and then just walk away go do something else for a couple of hours and you will come back and your character will be a level 72 it 100% works. It is so awesome. It's such a crazy glitch. Um, getting to the position where I'm in right here, glitching through the back of the map, does take a little bit of practice and time. But if you do it the exact way that I showed you, hugging the wall, etc., everything like that, then it will go smoother than butter. And once you get the hang of it, you can do it as many times as you possibly want. And you can get any character that you want to level 72. 
I really hope that this tutorial was useful for you guys. I really hope that it helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe for more Borderlands content. Subscribe for more gaming content and just content in general. And um, I will see you guys in another video. Peace out.